Introduction As we have already discussed that reproduction is the ability of all organisms to produce young ones similar to themselves in most of characters. Yes, and the process which involves fusion of male and female gametes to form a new individual is known as sexual reproduction. Objectives At the end of this lesson you'll be able to Define sexual reproduction Understand the sexual reproduction in human beings Understand puberty Identify changes at maturity Identify male reproductive organs Identify female reproductive organs Understand process of reproduction in human beings Understand menstruation Sexual reproduction in human beings Human beings are unisexual or dioecious. Two sexes are also different in certain external morphological features called secondary sexual characters which is called sexual dimorphism. In human beings, the reproductive organs, testes in male and ovary in female, becomes functional only after attaining sexual maturity, puberty or sexual maturity. Puberty is the period of sexual maturity during adolescence when reproductive organs become functional. In human, male sexual maturity is attained at the age of 13 to 14 years, while in females at the age of 10 to 12 years. The testes and ovaries produce viable gametes and also secrete hormones like testosterone from testes in male and estrogen and progesterone from ovary in female. Changes at sexual maturity. Both boys and girls undergo thick hair growth in armpits and genital areas between thighs. Thinner hair on legs, arms and face and oily skin and appearance of pimples. Among girls, beginning of ovulation from the ovaries and menstrual cycle, enlargement of breasts due to deposition of fats, darkening of nipple skin, stoppage of growth of bones and height, and maturation of secondary sex organs like fallopian tubes, uterus, etc. Among boys, the germ cells of seminiferous tubules of testes start producing sperms. Secondary sex organs like prostate gland, penis, etc. undergo maturation. Penis becomes enlarged and erect either in daydreams or during night. Penis is required for the actual transfer of sperms from male to female. And broadening of shoulders, deepening of voice, increase in height, etc. Male Reproductive System Male reproductive organs consists of portions that produce germ cells and other portions that deliver the germ cells to the site of fertilization. The human male reproductive organs are testes, epididymis, vas deferens, urethra, penis, testes. Testes are one pair small-sized, oval-shaped and pinkish-colored organs present in thin walled skin pouches called scrotal sacs, extra-abdominal in position. Scrotal sacs act as thermoregulators as they keep testicular temperature 1 to 3 degrees Celsius lower than the body temperature for normal spermatogenesis because the high body temperature may kill the sperm forming tissues of testes. Testes have about 900 narrow and convoluted seminiferous tubules with sperm forming germ cells. Germ cells form sperms by spermatogenesis. Epididymis Epididymis is a coiled tube-like structure firmly attached to the testes and serves as the storehouse of sperms where they become mature and develop motility. Vast deference. The sperms are carried by long tube called vas deferens 
or sperm duct into organs called seminal vesicles where the sperms get nourished and stored. Urethra Urethra is also long, narrow and tubular structure. It is formed by the joining of ejaculatory duct and a duct from urinary bladder so carries both sperms and urine and is also commonly called urinogenital canal. It passes through penis and opens at its tip. Penis Penis forms the external male genital organ. It is a cylindrical erectile copulatory organ with thick muscular walls. Its sensitive tip is called glans, which is covered by a retractical skin fold called prepuce. Male Reproductive Glands In man there are three types of reproductive glands, seminal vesicles, prostate gland and cowper's glands. Seminal vesicles are a pair of thin-walled muscular elongated sac which secretes fluid for nourishment of sperms. Prostate gland is a single, large-sized and lobulated gland present just below the urinary bladder. It produces fluid which is released in the urethra along with secretion of seminal vesicle. Corpus glands are a pair of white pea-seed sized glands present at the base of penis. It secretes alkaline semen which neutralizes acidity of urine and activates sperms and provides nutrition to the sperms. Sperms a human sperm is minute microscopic motile and flagellated gamete. It is formed of head, middle piece and long and vibratile tail. It fuses with ovum and transmits parental gene to offspring. Assessment Before proceeding further, let us know how much have you learned. Drag and drop the correct option. Female Reproductive System the female germ cells or eggs are made in the ovaries and are responsible for the production of some hormones. The human female reproductive organs are ovaries, fallopian tubes, uterus, vagina, ovaries. Ovaries are the primary sex organs of female and are one pair small sized almond shaped and whitish structure present in the pelvis of abdomen. Internally each ovary is with large number of immature primary or ovarian follicles. Ovary forms ova by oogenesis in the germ cells and secretes estrogens and progesterone. Fallopian tubes Fallopian tubes are one pair of elongated, ciliated muscular and tubular structures extending from just close to ovaries to uterus. The outer part of each fallopian tube lying close to ovary has a wide aperture called ostium and a number of finger-like processes called fimbrae to receive the ovum released from the ovary. Uterus Uterus is large-sized muscular and pear-shaped structure present in the pelvis between the urinary bladder and rectum and is the seat of implantation, placentation and fetal development. Its internal lining is highly vascular and glandular and is called cervix which opens into the vagina. Vagina Vagina is a long muscular tubular structure which extends backwards from cervix of uterus and finally opens outside by vaginal aperture in the vestibule. Vagina acts as copulation canal as semen is discharged in it during copulation and birth canal as the baby passes through it during childbirth. Process of sexual reproduction in human beings. The male gamete or sperms are highly active and mobile which move up through cervix into the uterus and then pass into the fallopian tubes. In fallopian tube only one sperm fertilizes the ovum 
to form a zygote. This is called fertilization. It occurs only if sperm enters fallopian tube during the ovulatory period. The embryonic development of the zygote starts immediately in the fallopian tube and pregnancy starts while menstruation stops. The embryo moves down to reach the uterus. The embedding of embryo in the thick inner lining of the uterus is called implantation. Then, a special tissue develops between the uterine wall and the embryo called placenta where the exchange of nutrients, oxygen and waste products takes place. The time period from the development of fetus inside the uterus till birth is called gestation. The act of giving birth of fully developed fetus at the end of gestation period is termed as parturition. The development of the child inside the mother's body takes approximately nine months time. Menstruation The breakdown and removal of inner, thick and soft lining of a uterus along with its blood vessels in the form of vaginal bleeding is called menstrual flow or menstruation. The cycle of events taking place in the ovaries and uterus every 28 days or roughly one month and marked by the menstrual flow is called menstrual cycle or sexual cycle in human female. It lasts for about two to eight days. Assessment Before proceeding further, let us know how much have you learned. Drag and drop the correct option. Did you know the sperms form only 10% of the semen? A female lays about 13 eggs in a year, while about 416 eggs during whole reproductive period of human female. Menarche is the beginning of menstruation of puberty, and menopause is period when ovulation and menstrual cycle permanently stops in human female. The average weight of a newly born baby is about 3.5 kilograms. Summary let us summarize what we have learned. Human beings are unisexual and show sexual dimorphism. Male reproductive system is formed of testes, epididymes, vas differentia, urethra and penis. Accessory reproductive glands of male are seminal vesicles, prostate glands and cowper's glands. Female reproductive system is formed of ovaries, fallopian tubes, uterus, vagina and vulva. Accessory reproductive glands of female are Bartholin's glands and breasts. Menstrual cycle involves cyclic changes occurring in the ovaries and female reproductive tract during the reproductive period. It is completed in about one month. It is formed of four phases, follicle phase, ovulatory phase, luteal phase and menstrual phase. It starts at puberty and permanently stops at menopause. Embryonic development involves the series of events which transform zygote into an embryo. It involves phases like gametogenesis, fertilization, cleavage implantation, placentation, gastrulation, organogenesis and parturition.